Hey, so it's near the start of term and I'm just thinking about my schemes of work for this, for the upcoming period of learning. And whether it's a term or a few weeks that we're planning any one stage, uh, the Notion uh, workspace is a perfect place to plan and organize that scheme of work so that in the order that the topics are coming, we can have our resources and any other relevant information for that topic listed on our Notion page, which obviously we can pick up those tables and drop them elsewhere around our Notion workspace. So we've got that key information that we need at our fingertips, wherever we happen to be. So let's jump into Notion. I'll show you exactly how my Schema Works page is set up so you can set up something similar for yourself and see how useful it will be for you. So first things first, on my Schema Work page, I have a a uh, sync block up at the top of the page here, which includes like key planning resources for each of my year groups according to the stage in the learning that they're at. And these are generic for the whole for the whole the subject of maths for me. So I'll be thinking, right, I want to link to my, my scheme of work. I want to have what am I gonna what are my main resources I'm gonna be using whenever I want to teach the content. What are my resources I'm going to be using when I want to practice, get the students practicing stuff? And it's, I'm still building this out, this table a little bit. If I want to include some interesting exercises for the class, what can I include? There we go. What am I going to use for homeworks primarily for that class? Key resources. And what am I going to use for test revision? I was just finding that I was coming up to like test revision for a class. I'd be like, oh, what am I going to use again? Right, let's go check out all the different websites online. Well, there's no need to do that for particular uh, levels that I'm teaching. Let's have those in the same place. So I've got that same block up at the top there. You could hide that or, or not as the case may be. But the real meat of this page is in the, the section down below where when I'm teaching my groups, I'll have this table set up which effectively lists the order of the topics that I'm teaching uh, and that links to the topics database. Um, it includes the, the weeks that I'm teaching those topics in. It includes key resources, so when I want to get the students practicing key bits of that topic, um, there's the key resources that I can use for that topic. Okay, so this is actually a view, a filtered view of my topics database, filtered just to show me the topics that my fifth form in this case will be studying. Um, and I have filtered that, ordered by the the order in which the department agree that we're going to be teaching it. And I have, can obviously add or remove properties from this table um, to suit whatever I need. And if there's books that I'm, booklets that I'm printing, for example, I can track that in here. I can say, yeah, I've printed those booklets. Have I issued the booklets? Yeah, okay, I've only issued those booklets. Um, really, really useful way of representing. And better for me, I think, most of my planning I want to be doing at this sort of topic level. How do the topics work? What weeks am I teaching each topic in? Um, and have I got the key resources that I need lined up? Perhaps more so than planning it by lesson, by every single lesson, because then obviously you need a bit of flexibility and we may not get everything covered in a particular lesson. Whereas when in a topic within a week or two weeks per topic, we need to know that we need to cover everything and what are the key resources I'm going to use for that. Um, the only other thing that we can add in here is a, a toggle, and I hide it behind a toggle, which is the OneNote um, OneDrive doc. So it's an embedded OneDrive document for that particular course, for the fifth form course in my case. Uh, really useful to be able to view that and be like, right, what has the department agreed we're gonna be doing at that stage? Okay, there it is. Okay, so next coming up is functions. Right, I need to go back in there making sure that my functions, yeah, so I need to get that now built up. Those are my next topics I'm gonna to be doing and I'll be able to go in there and plan what weeks am I teaching functions, what resources am I gonna be using for it? and so on. So really useful view there, I think, for our Notion workspace and be able to um, plan our topics uh, at the right level and use Notion for that. And if I want to have that scheme of work to hand quickly, ready to go at any time, I could copy the link to that blog. I could drop that link into a new tab in Notion and then I can favorite that. Okay, I can favor it, add it into my bookmarks bar, into my fifth form class, bookmarks, uh, choose another folder, 5C, save. Okay, and then there it is dropped into my 5C tab. And if you're watching my video from last week, and if you don't, if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend going back to have a look at that. Um, we can 
what I showed you then was that if I'm hovering over the 5C bit of this, I can right click and in Chrome and I can say open in Chrome and I can say open all eight in new window. And there at my fingertips at the start of the lesson, I can jump in and we will have our fifth form scheme of work to hand within a second. Um, and I can quickly in a lesson if I need to go and review that or even if I'm not in a lesson, it's right at my fingertips, isn't it? You've been watching Ocean for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching again. Really appreciate you tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again and sharing. You've been watching Ocean for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos as often as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again as soon as possible.